to the MBS Show, episode number 26. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Emilio Daniel. What's up? Hey, Emilio, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very much fine. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, anything interesting happened today? I have bought Sleeping Dogs Limited Edition for $35, and it's amazing. I haven't played it yet. Oh, okay. Um, how is it amazing and you haven't played it yet? Uh, because that's a discounted price on the limited edition version. Ah, okay, yeah. cool. Uh, shout out to FNC Will, uh, at FNC Will on Twitter, because he gave me the discount coupon. Yeah, an amazing guy, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. And joining us today is Tashirina. Hi, everybody. Hey, Tash. Long time no listen. How are you? I've been good, yeah. Just busy doing life things, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, life thing can get in the way sometime. Mm-hmm. So, how have you been doing? I've been good, just um, doing things. Of course, I've been keeping up with what's been going on in the brony world, so that's good. <laughs> Still here, lingering in the background. Ha 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 ha. Okay, cool. And joining us is Daniel Anthony. Hello. Hey, Daniel, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Still pretty shaken up from that train ride back from Johor. Yeah, I noticed that you're not in my house anymore. Yes, exactly. Okay, anyway, so, a fun train trip? Oh, yes. Loved it. Love every bit of it. Thanks for having me over. Okay, no problem. So, the Friendship Express was pretty good, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Until you wind up booking the last seat on the last carriage of the train. Ah, well, c'est la vie. And on to the next topic is housekeeping. And in housekeeping, we have a few announcements to make. We have our very own Facebook fan page. Yes, that's right. We have our own Facebook fan page. It'll be up when this episode is out. So go and like us on Facebook, or as they call it, Brohoof. Moving on. Then why don't you take this one? Right, and earlier this week, if you noticed, we had another small episode just come up in the middle of the week when uh, Norman found me in his house. Basically, we wish One Trick a happy birthday. The One Trick as in One Trick from Everfree Radio, the girl who chooses all the songs on EFR that plays during off episode hours. Within 10 minutes, we put together a birthday song which we sang together. This is something we did for the first time in the MBS show, so if you're a music fan or you just want to hear our singing voices, go on over and listen to that show and tell us what you think. So anyway, on to the next topic, and the next topic is news time. And in today's news time is pony trading card templates. The My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Trading Card is available for purchase in North America. For the rest of the world, there's the internet. But if you don't have a credit card or the cash for it, you could always create your own. A DeviantArt user by the name of Scarly Quinn has created a template for you to create your own cards. Please note that this template is not endorsed by Hasbro and Interplay. Please support the official product. Links can be found in the show notes. So guys, what do you think? Trading cards. Yay! Oh my god! It's like three, like one word. Pokemon. <laughs> I've never been into the trading card scene. Even if last time I used to try to buy into Pokemon, I could never afford to actually go full force into it. But now that there's ponies, it's going to be very hard for me to resist if they ever come to Malaysia. True. But I'm currently collecting a card game right now. And the thing is, it's a card game. You play the cards. But for ponies, it's basically for you to look and trade. i got no idea how to go about that. <laughs> Well, sooner or later, I have a feeling that they're going to make a game out of it. Bronies are that creative. Even if it's as simple as, you know, playing Snap or something like that, it's going to be quite fun. I'm looking at a box of the pony trading cards, and there's like 30 packs in it. I'm really tempted to pre-order right now. <laughs> Toy Wiz? Why only tempted? Go for it. Must <laughs> <laughs> resist. Reach Spending it. money. Remember the MasterCard advertisement. <laughs> but anyway, well, the Templars, what do you guys think? You can create your own cards with your own pony sona and whatnot. It's, it's actually really, really cool, yeah. You can, like, print your own card. That's really cool, you know. And yeah. you'll be holding the most, the rarest ever card in the whole world because only you have it. <laughs> so, you guys ever created your own cards before? Nope. I did it once with my photograph when I was in Standard 5. Oh, that didn't end well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I tried doing the whole handicraft thing and, like, cutting things and actually drawing on it. I don't think I have any more left. <laughs> it was interesting, though. I did one for a musical theatre thing that I was involved in. All right. And there was actually an MLP reference in the Captain Planet was a brony. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay. How did so, that yeah. end? Uh, it ended with 
uh, Captain Planet, Ash from Pokemon, and like a bunch of other characters being awesome friends. It was like very RPG themed. It was pretty wow. cool. <laughs> so we had cards for that and everyone created their own new ones. So that was pretty cool. That's like, that sounds like a fun game to play. <laughs> Yeah, di- director trumps everyone, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next news topic. So, uh, Tash, why don't you take this one? I like this one. What is the best way to cool down during the hot summer days? Well, for most of us, it's to eat ice cream. A company in Colombia called Creme Helado has made a pink chocolate and strawberry flavored ice cream. As an added bonus, each pack includes a tattoo and sticker for you to collect. Pictures can be found in the show notes. What do you guys think? Why can't we order ice cream over the internet? <laughs> Stop! I was just thinking that! You're a jerk! <laughs> I mean, what is better than pink chocolate? It happened, I would like, do... in Willy Wonka's world, where, you know, you can just reach in and grab it. Oh my god. I want to know, what is pink chocolate? <laughs> what? It's better. It's chocolate it's just... that's 20% cooler. It's just chocolate that's pink. Flavoured. Mm. <laughs> it's like colouring. Pink colouring. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't mind. It sounds delicious. It's strawberry and chocolate, and I love both. It's just chocolate. Anything with chocolate, strawberry is like, yes, win. And you get a sticker along with it. Which ice cream does that? You don't even get it with a Klondike bar. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point. True, true. Well, I would like to try some of this. It it's looks... going to be a total game changer. What would you do for an MLP ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> What would I not do for an MLP ice cream right now, man? Exactly! I've been eating ice cream for like every day for the past week. Yeah, we're gonna switch, turn the whole Klondike bar thing over. <laughs> oh. oh boy. So, everybody likes, right? <laughs> Who doesn't? Everybody loves it. I was wondering, do we have any fans in Colombia? So, if you guys are listening to us right now, um, could you try and <laughs> send some ice cream to us? <laughs> Ice cream, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, try. So much. You know, you use that FedEx container that they use to ship, you know, Penguins? medicine and stuff that they need to be at sub zero temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> In that big ice cold truck. Please. We're saying please. Pretty, 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 please. With sugar and sprinkles on top. See? Tash is saying please. How dare you make it sound cute? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next topic, guys. Before we all have diabetes due to sugar talk. I'm already there. It's unavoidable. <laughs> Close enough. I really wonder how much the ice cream is. Seriously, if you're in Colombia and you're listening to this, do email us, tell us how much that ice cream costs. I want to know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's not because I, you know, want to order them or something. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Seriously, let's move on. And in the next topic is, well, we don't have a guest, so I thought we'd change it to topic time! Mm-hmm. Yay! Welcome to the show! <laughs> More or less. Anyway, for topic time this week, I'm thinking that we should reintroduce ourselves. Since we have a lot of listeners, and most of them started out with episode 20, thanks to Tombstone, we should reintroduce ourselves, like who we are, and what we do, and who's our favorite pony, and of course, what's our favorite episode. So I think I'll start off with Daniel. Alright, my name is Daniel Gia Christie Jude Valentine Anthony, also known as St. Pinky on the internet. I'm basically right now on holiday, although my part-time job is being a balloon decorator. I work directly for Pinkie Pie. Yay! (laughs) And uh, if you remember my episode, I actually mentioned that I cannot answer the best pony question. If I actually did have a pony I favoured too much, the whole show would be called My Little Pinky. But basically, I do have one that I'm technically inclined on to, and I increased it to five because I can't make a decision very well. So if you ask me within the main six, it's got to be Pinkie Pie. If you ask me non-main six, it's Cheerilee. If you ask me for a favourite foal, it's got to be Twist. If you ask me for a favourite princess, it's Celestia. And lastly, if you ask me favourite Pitch Bible Pony, it's Surprise. <laughs> So yes, I have five favorite ponies, and I cannot answer the best pony question. I am sorry. What a diplomatic answer. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm indecisive like that. And my favorite episode by far would have to be A Friend Indeed. It's the episode I watched countless times over and over again. When I bought my new phone, it was the first episode I loaded in, and it's still one of the only episodes on the phone. And now you know Daniel Anthony. And mm-hmm. next up is Emilio Daniel. Another Daniel. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. 
account is, my name is Emilio Daniel. I'm a freelance music composer specializing in instrumental music. I co-host the MBS show right here every Saturday night. My favorite would be Rarity because she's just fabulous, you know? My favorite episode would be Out of the Dress. I wonder if I asked you before, but why? Well, uh, it, it, it's just my favorite pony. I'm really biased. It's, it's just gravity all over, you know? It's like, it shows exactly who gravity is. Like, it, it's... Uh, yeah, basically, yeah, it's all gravity for me. I'm in love with her. Okay, cool. And now you know Emilio Daniel. And our next host is Tashirina. I am Tasha Irina. Um, what do I do? <laughs> I used to study, now I'm just working, doing my internship at a magazine. So that's pretty cool. Um, actually, interesting story from interview. I told them last thing I wrote was MLP fanfiction. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know, right? Okay, what? It's probably the key that got you the job. I know. Okay, no, 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 no. You have to explain yourself, girl. Like, what? Well, because it's a magazine, and I say, oh, I want to be a writer. And the interviewer asked me, so what was the last thing you wrote? I'm like, uh, MLP fan fiction, probably. And he was like, what's MLP? Oh, My Little Pony. And I went into the whole brony subculture thing. And I don't know if I bored him or intrigued him. I got the gig. So it's all good. <laughs> Why didn't you say that you wrote an article about the whole Brony fandom thing? Oh, this was before I actually started writing that essay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations. So <laughs> now, if you want, now if you want your place in a job that is to do with writing, start writing fanfiction now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just lucky. Please don't put anything on it. Here's the funny thing. I, I study writing. It's in literature. Yet I've never once written a fan fiction. <laughs> you could always start now, Emilio. I study writing as well. I haven't written a fan fiction. Well, actually, I have. But yeah, I never published it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, back to the introduction thing. Um, that's what I do. Uh, favorite pony? Pinkie Pie. Because she's my spirit pony. As you probably realize if you heard me on a couple of the back episodes. She is Pinkie Pie. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, I'll stop giggling now. Yeah, no, not going to happen in actuality. Um, favorite episode has to be Baby Cakes, because Pinkie Pie and cute baby ponies. Yes, win. And there you go. That's Tasharina. Now, Norman, how about you? Oh, boy, I was just trying to escape this. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Well, okay, I'm Norman Sanzo, the host of the MBS show and also founder and creator of the show. My day job is I am a freelance photographer like Spider-Man. And my favorite pony would have to be Fluttershy. I don't know why, I just like Fluttershy. And my favorite episode would be Lesson Zero. Lesson Zero? Mm. That's interesting that you... Now, why do you like Lesson Zero? Yeah. Well, it was going so well, I could end it right there. Dang it. <laughs> Yeah, we know you have OCD, so why do you like Less Than Zero? Okay, um, the fun part about the episode is to watch Twilight go crazy. I know I said that my favourite pony is Fluttershy, but seeing Twilight go nuts over a silly thing as not having a letter to write to the princess for that week, it was so much fun. And I also got to watch Fluttershy snap a bear's neck. Not snap neck. Well, it looked like a snap neck to me before she explained what she was doing. So anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is, well, email time. And as usual, we don't have any emails. No! You Aww. email people! What are you doing out there in Equestria? Send us email! Well, that was overdramatic, Emilio. Anyway, um, since we don't have any emails, I thought we'd give some shout-outs. So anyway, um, I got a few. I would like to give a shout-out to Chef Sandy and Apple Cider. The reason why is they've been talking to me on Twitter. And I also want to give a shout out to my friend. Her name is Sailor Mirano. She just bought me a blind bag from Europe. So thanks a lot for giving me the blind bags. Any of you guys have any shout outs? I got a shout out. I got a shout out. Okay, I want to give a shout out to Ed Savina Midori from uh, 
Uh, well, she's everywhere, really. Uh, she does a lot of pony fan art and stuff nowadays. I think the internet converted her to a brony. She wasn't a brony when she first started. Anyway, shout out to her because uh, she just started college and uh, she seems to be adapting to life there. And just to, to let you know, Serena, I'm a big fan of yours, even though you don't really reply me on Twitter for some reason. And you'll have fun in college, trust me. Have fun. I'd like to do a shout out to all the Twitter bronies out there who actually <laughs> talk to me and send me brochures and think you guys are awesome. You make Twitter a lot more fun. Oh, you're welcome, Tash. <laughs> Brochures! Yeah, shout out to the folks in uh, the group that we've been playing at Men's vs. Machines with. The game has been so awesome so far and I wouldn't be able to experience that six-player multiplayer feel. And the thing about this is I'm not even a gamer. I've only played it for a couple of days and basically I don't think I'm going to be playing it for the next month or so since I'm not a habitual gamer. <laughs> But the time that I played with you was fun. Yeah, two people against the world. We survived two waves. Can you imagine that? No, we survived the whole thing till they came out of the tank. Yeah, that's only two waves. That's really? Like, two waves? One more left. Oh, God. Just yeah. two waves. Oh, my God. And one more just to uh, Emilio Daniel, who's just sitting in a show right now for the cover we did last night. You're welcome. That was really awesome. You know, I, I thought like, I went inside then suddenly go into his room and see... This guy has a whole studio in his room. This is amazing. Well, that was a shout-out. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or even shout-out for the show, you can contact us at show at gmail.com. And you can also reach us on Twitter at the MBS show. And I'm at Norma Sanzo. And I'm at King of Cuteness. I'm at Tasha Irina. And I'm at St. Pinky. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. Link will be provided in the show notes. Or you can search for us on iTunes on your iOS device. Just search for the MBS show. We're the first result. Indeed. So, I've been Norman Sanzo. I've been King of Cuteness. Yeah. And I've been Tasha Irina. And I've been Daniel Anthony. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. When you're right with devastation, there's a simple explanation. You're a toy maker's creation, trapped inside a crystal ball. And whichever way he tilts it, know that we must be resilient. We won't let them break our spirits as we sing our silly song. When I was a little silly, a galloping blaze overtook my city. So they shipped me off to the orphanage, saying, ditch those roots if you don't fit in. So I dug 1,000 holes and caught a rug with all I'm scared, but I still know the worst of this song When you've bungled all your bangles And your loved ones have been mangled Listen to the jingle jangle Of my gypsy tambourine Cause these chords are hypnotizing And the whole world's harmonizing So please children stop your crying And just sing along with me Why do I run out there at the end? And also please subscribe us 3, 2... And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. Link will be... That. <laughs> Three, two... Calm down, Norman. Calm down. No, my mouth is dry. I've been eating a lot of burnt food. What, burnt food or, bur- or burnt food? <laughs> oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs>